subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Sakib, Shweta, it's good to see you. Um, the two of you, of course, are the comedy couple in the film <laughs> of that name. Now, you play a pair of stand-up comedians who are also real-life lovers. They're dealing with the very things that they go on stage and make jokes about. Is that true? That's true. right. Now, it's a very interesting premise. Does it lend itself to a full-fledged film? Uh, we've made a film, Raji. <laughs> so, I think yeah, it does. Because it's a great idea. It's a great one-line idea. Nothing. I just felt like when I read the material, I thought it was very breezy and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I was getting to play a stand-up comic and I feel like that's one of the most fun professions in the world at this point. And uh, stand-up comics are the real heroes in the world if they're the ones who are talking about things that should be spoken about. So I was very excited with the idea. But like you very rightly said that uh, it's great in, in a one line. Does it lend itself to a film? Uh, so... But I think we've uh, somehow put together a beautiful story about uh, these imperfect people uh, who, when come together, are perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to give credit to my director here, Nachiket, who, who was, in fact, the last one to join the team. And, uh, but he's come and made this film his own and this world, which is so real. He, he comes from Pune and he's created this world in Gurgaon. And I don't think anybody could talk and be like, Are you, this... <laughs> Has a Marathi filmmaker made this award? He's just made the whole Gurgaon landscape look so real and that culture, that language so real. So I think, yes, it does lend itself into a film and uh, I hope so that it's a beautiful one. Shweta, for you? Oh, I completely second with uh, Sakib on this. I mean, when I read the script, uh, for me, I'd never seen any film or any project, any content where you talk about a couple, a comedy couple that, you know, talks about their relationship and their, their interpersonal relations and they take it on to the stage. So actually, you if you see the stand-up um, pieces in the film, they're not standalone pieces. They have an arc. They yeah. have a graph. And that goes with the relationship status that uh, Deep and Zoya share in the relationship. So for the audience in the film, they may be laughing, but for the audience who's watching the film, they understand what's actually going on in the relationship. Right. So that was very interesting. Yeah. And yeah, I think every character that has a different job comes with a different lifestyle, has its own humor, has its own way of living. And that was pretty interesting to explore. It's very insightful uh, to, you know, understand how stand-up comics actually land on jokes, how they build on jokes, how they mm. pick from day-to-day -day habits and, uh, uh, you know, something they've observed, some, you know, their experiences and how that actually becomes a material, their own material that they bring on stage. So yeah, very, very interesting. And we had a blast shooting it. You know, did you all have a consultant? Because, because the thing about comedy and the thing about playing a stand-up comic is that you're taking material that's obviously actually written by someone else. And right. your job is to make it look like you came up with it. Uh, these right. are your observations of life. So really, what was that process of owning these jokes? And um, I mean, did you all observe? I mean, are we all, are you all, have you all in the past just, um, you know, watched a lot of stand-up comedy? I mean, is that something that you were familiar with, that area? Yeah, I mean, stand-up comedy is my favorite pastime, to be watching <laughs> stand-up comedy. And I think, especially in this lockdown, I don't think I've seen films. I've only seen stand-up comedy. The first half of it, when I was just stand up, uh, when I was just watching stand up comedy for myself, and then when I was re researching for the film, uh, was there a consultant? We did play around with that th thought for a while, but uh, what uh, Nachiket, our director, said that yeah, the nice thing about stand up comics is that these are their personal stories, and like you said, these are not your personal stories. So the journey is to make them your personal stories. So let's play with that thought, and let's me, you, Shweta, work together. And let's see where we can get at. So from what the stand-up bits were when we started rehearsing to what they became uh, were two different sets because we personalized them and we made them into our stories. And eventually, if you see Rajiv, stand-up comics are storytellers. Yeah. We, we, we had to make the story so personal that, that we, we just narrate the story properly. And that's what we worked on. I saw a lot of stand-up comedy. I don't think... Uh, uh, like like I said, I used to watch a lot of stand-up comedy, but for the film, I think I've seen every Indian stand-up comic that there is. And every piece, even if there are 5,000 views on a video of a stand-up comedy, I'm the 5,000 view. 
माहौल बना देते हैं अपनी कहानियां जब बताता है मतलब यू गेट इन्वेस्टेड इन दैरेक्टर्स ऑफ स्टोरी and he makes you laugh and then sometimes he makes you feel slightly emotional about something yeah. so so i feel like all those traits are very important in a stand up comic to make people feel it's not only about where the laugh is going to come of course laugh is important but then if you trying to tell something that is more than just laughs so right. you'll get them into the set with your laughs but then you'll say something and walk away which will give them something to think about So I think Zakir is very, very, very good. I I saw a bit of there's a DC because I play a character. I am from UP, Billari. I tried to uh, uh, watch a lot of Gaurav Kapoor. There's a stand-up uh-huh. comic called Gaurav Kapoor. I saw him. Uh, then of course I love how Virdas writes his sets. Yeah. So now when when you when you start uh, when you have to start a film way, you have to. <clears throat> be a stand up comic you have to start thinking like one right you have to Correct. think about oh his writing is so solid his set is so tight are because if if i am not going to use that terminology while i am watching these things so how will i bring that in my character so i think i watched just stand up comedy for flat 3 months i am like nothing doing i used to wake up find old videos watch everything uh, but i never thought of doing it like somebody else because uh, secretly somewhere in my heart i think i can be a good stand up comic so that is going to be my next question <laughs> to both of you i mean has this film at least given you the confidence because it's pretty terrifying i would think you know to oh. go up in front of a room full of people and really expose yourself in a way that can one can completely fall flat has this prepared you all i mean do you feel like you have any confidence to do that or or is acting like really another gig you know yaar mujhe to lagta hai ki I've been writing a stand-up set for the last five years. I've just never had the confidence. You are actually very funny. I, 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 I can show you my diary of saying my comedy set and I scribble <laughs> some stories, but they never come together really well. Has this given me confidence to do stand-up comedy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because, like you said, uh, stand-up comedy is a different uh, art Still, form yeah. only. Yeah. How how yeah. you connect with audiences? Yes, we worked on it. Uh, will I want to do a set in life hundred percent after this? I think right. I've bombed up to the idea hundred percent. Uh, but मुश्किल है यार. It's it's not easy making people laugh just by having a banter with them because I right. I saw a lot of stand up comedians do a lot of crowd work, mm-hmm. like they interact with the crowds and how they spin everything. So it's like acting, right? You have to keep right. improvising it every every go. So there are some similarities, but yes, it's it's difficult. I want to do stand up comedy, Raju. Okay. Okay. Shweta? Well, I don't think so. My friends are really happy that I have done comedy couple because they are like, finally, we'll j- we, you know, laugh at your jokes because they're not written by you. So I think uh, it's the other way around for me. Uh, my my sense of humor is like a um, uh, little all over the place. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to work on my sense of humor. No, Shweta, you like, you are funny, yeah. Huh? You are very funny. <laughs> <laughs> How well did the two of you know each other before getting into this? Because this kind of film, you know, I mean, it's funny because you're playing a couple which which requires some mm-hmm. chemistry, and you're playing a, a a comic pair which also requires a different kind of chemistry. So really, chemistry is integral to this film. Um, did you all know each other well? Did you all have a friendship? Uh, did you all kind of do it tests? It developed. It developed. We met because of the film, and uh, the last time uh, right. I met Shweta, I mean, I didn't even meet her. I saw her in Iqbal. <laughs> Right. I was straight. <laughs> I was straight meeting her in the Sare Gama Udli office, and I'm like, "Hey, hi." Like, oh, you, nice. You grew up this together. You were, da- and the first thing I said, I'm like, "You were damn good in like Iqbal." And then I'm thinking, that's a while ago, Sagib. Not not a good Correct. opening statement. Correct. I'm sure she gets that often, right? Makri, yeah. Iqbal. I'm sure, like that. Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite often. Yes, I did. But uh, we we met at the Sare Gama office. We did the look test, and uh, we did extensive workshops and readings before we started shooting. And in fact, that's when we personalized those uh, stand-up bits because we had to, like you said, had to really develop that chemistry. We really had to bring out the Zoya and the Deep, and uh, you know what are on stage because we are doing the sets together. So a lot of it was give and take. You know, yeah. I mean, anyway, acting is a lot about responding and reactions and. all the more on stage because you're leaving 
a joke halfway and he's picking it up and he's say, saying something and you had to pick it up uh, so yeah we had to work uh, uh, quite hard on that but luckily sakib and i got along really well <laughs> and uh, we had a we had a really good time working and oh, are i we think maintaining a lot of that we got along Oh we yeah, we are that? just for the camera. Okay, okay we have to keep maintaining that. All right. <laughs> so yeah, just for camera's sake, Sakib and I got along really well. We became friends, and that's what's transcended onto the screen. <laughs> you know, most comedians will tell you that they actually don't date within the pool. Um, yeah. So very few comedians date other comedians. It's 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 very competitive. The field, of course, um, and it's a complicated space because you know. you can call out each other's bullshit right i mean if you know exactly what the other you know if you know that skill and that craft and you know what why do zoya and deep get together or, or how do they get together because uh, i feel like uh, they're good in their respective spaces hmm. if deep sharma as a character is good alone and zoya batra as a character is good alone but when they come together they're the best there right. there is there is they don't complete each other they're not incomplete in their lives but they mm. become the best versions of themselves when they're together mm. so and it, it it is deep sharma's idea to uh, start this comedy couple of course and uh, and i feel like as as a couple you know there, there is a, it's a very different kind of a relationship how we've kept it we've tried to keep it like how relationships are not uh, not the stereotypical relationships we've seen in life or uh, whether in in the recent films it's it's a very fresh very right. real real relationship in that sense the girl can say anything to the guy the guy can say anything to the girl they they know each other's life inside out so so i felt like a very real love story we were trying to work on they are also very good friends us. they were really they are really good friends and in a sense they complete each other even if you see our back stories you know there's something that attracts deep to zoya and there's something that attracts about deep uh, about zoya to deep because the kind of uh, spaces they come in in their lives i think that is also another element why they sort of uh, feel they balance each other out when they come together right you know um when you cast pooja bedi as a character's mom it's sort of shorthand oh, for the fact that yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, <laughs> oh, you, know, you know that this is going to be like a broad minded liberal kind of family and then when you put Rajesh Tela, who is the way that he looks, I mean, he's an incredible actor. But when you play, when you play on his his sort of appearance and his image, you kind of go that this is going to be a you know he he's kind of the flip side to that. He's going to be the conservative kind of father. What were they like to work with? I mean, as your respective parents, I mean, what was what were Pooja and Rajesh like to work with? They're so funny in the in the trailer. They're they're really lovely, and you kind of get a sense of of how they must impact their, their kids' lives. So I think Rajesh sir is one of the most fun guys to work with. He's just I've I've done two things with him, and both those things were completely opposite with one another. And this is the first time he himself says he was trying comedy. So I still remember the first time. So these guys were shooting with us for the last fifteen days, uh, and then Rajesh sir stepped in and he joined the set. And I remember the first day when he came, he had everybody in splits. because he would just improvise he would add a nuance he would add a look we would just like i would start laughing so i think he added a lot to this film uh, rajesh tela because uh, i feel like he and and i'm honest about this i can say this uh, in your interview that when i was reading the script i felt like are the father's character is a bit of a caricature mm. we need to make him real he and but what he's brought to the character he's He's added a layer which I had not thought that the father could be this. So I think uh, actors like him, they know their craft so well and they are so good with the smaller nuances. All I had to do was just play off him because yeah. he had so much to give in scenes. Like like there's a there's a line uh, in the trailer where he picks up the bra and he says, "Hey, lady banyan, ladies banyan." That's his improvisation. The script said, "Ye bra kiska hai." and he That's made it like main school ladies banyan bana deta hu so so i felt like he brought he, he was genuinely thinking because i i felt like he was also working the comedy space for the Correct. first time so he said jo meri saalo bhar ki comedy hai main sari is picture mein nikal dunga but i think uh, he is very very good i have a great time working with him unfortunately i didn't get to work with uh, pooja bedi at all nor did uh, shweta she's on the screen no i did I, yeah board, but but kitni no i did kismat hai yaar I wanted Maybe to I work with Pooja Bidhi. I get to work with her, but never get to act with her. It's ridiculous. 
I had one scene with Rajiv sir, and of course, I'd seen his uh, work. I'd absolutely loved him in uh, Selection Days and Mirzapur, and I was looking forward to work with him. Although I just have one scene with him in Comedy Couple, but we had a great time. Uh, Pooja, ma'am, and I don't have any scene together because we are on the Skype call. She lives yeah. in Paris. She's an artist, and she lives in Paris, and she's you know giving her daughter all the. uh you know the advices and things to do in relationship through the skype calls but when they were shooting when they were filming pooja ma'am in delhi in gurgaon i requested nachiket sir and the team if i can just come on set and uh, just be hang around her and i gave her all the cues so all the uh, scenes that we have together so i was like i'm going to be there and i'm going to give my cues and in a way then i'll just work with her as well right So I spent the day uh um although I was not shooting but I spent the day at the location giving her the cues I also gave a clap for her close up so not working together but yeah, I just to eat yeah. my way to work with her in a way matlab everybody yeah. who didn't know what to do the day pooja bibi was supposed to shoot with us everybody <laughs> was like are how what should we say should we call her pooja should we call her pooja ma'am everybody is just everybody is just smitten i i think I mean, I, like, I, I told her you're another Joe Jita Bhai Sikander generation, right? Yeah, yeah. Joe Jita Bhai Sikander is one of my favorite films. I see it Absolutely. even today. It's the, one of the best films ever in Hindi cinema, according to me. Correct. So I was just smitten. Thankfully, I didn't have to act with her. But now I'm sure I can't be any better. You know, stand-up comedy as a profession, certainly in India, is such a new thing, right? It's it's something that that still it's it's also a generational thing. I've heard every comic make that joke, right? About the parents saying, "Acha, ye comedy comedy." तो ठीक है पर बट व्हाट इज योर जॉब मतलब व्हाट व्हाट इज द प्रोफेशन इट्स करना क्या है लाइफ में करेक्ट यू नो इज दैट समथिंग बिकॉज़ आई रीड अ लिटिल सिनोप्सिस अबाउट दीप एंड इज दैट समथिंग दैट साकिब योर कैरेक्टर दीप कैन रिलेट टू बिकॉज़ अपेरेंटली ही इज हाइडिंग इट फ्रॉम हिज कंजर्वेटिव फैमिली दैट ही इज दैट दैट दिस इज व्हाट ही डज फॉर अ लिविंग सो दीप हैज अ लाइंग हैबिट इन लाइफ बट ही हिज हिज थॉट प्रोसेस अबाउट दैट लाइंग हैबिट इज इज लाइक किसी को हर्ट नहीं करना है किसी को चीट नहीं करना है I'm I'm saying these lies because I'm trying to make the situation better so that mm. so that we can get out of this easily rather than create an issue about it. Uh, he's an engineer by profession, and his parents think that he stays in Gurgaon and is doing engineering. And he's hid this from his father. He's not made it big in the comedy scene. He's just like trying to figure it out. And in the middle of it, he's gotten into this relationship with this girl who's lovely and who's also a stand-up comic. Now suddenly, his dream. which was not that big a dream of a stand up comic but but when he meets this girl that dream somehow completes and before one thing could lead to another they are becoming decent in a stand up comics so that fear of the parents getting to know oh oh damn he does he isn't an engineer anymore is always looming large on his head so yeah. yes he has a bit of a problem but i know so many guys like this yaar like uh, one of the one of the people at utli in the creative team gorav sharma he's an engineer so he left his job and came to bombay didn't tell tell his parents that he was in bombay for 4 years oh. told told them he was in bangalore started working in the movies and i and i thought this so many people do this right so many people don't tell people and hide things so i i found a lot of relatability in this and and the fact that and and deep is lying about the smallest of things like even right. if if zoya zoya has to say ki acha khana khaya even if he's not had khana he the first response is always a jhoot so i thought it gave me a lot of things to play with as a character because i think somewhere uh, i am also a bit of a liar but i don't want to hurt anybody i don't want to cheat anybody i am just lying because i want to make everybody happy okay okay you know shweta for the longest time um, and i and i hope that, that that stereotype and that cliche is is sort of dying that people especially i think it's a i think it's a trolls thing you know that that women aren't funny mm. i mean and and a lot of female mm. comics have protested against this that that mm. what, you know what nonsense what do you mean women aren't funny i mean i think that in the comedy circuit that's been that was a that was an argument for a long time and we have in india such incredible female comics you know i mean aditi yeah. mittal and sumukhi Sumukhi and Suresh. kanis i mean they're yeah. so good each of them yeah. are, are is so good i mean there's so many these are just the names that come immediately to mind uh do you i mean was that something that you thought about is that something you encountered i mean did you uh, is that something that that ever was a part of this this story um you know why, why don't why, why for the longest time did do, do we think that or did we think that women can't be funny or is it just one of those you know those gender things where we where we say I oh i think so i think so i mean you know come to think of it women can't drive women 
uh, can't be funny. There, I think it's a gender thing, and uh, you know, you uh, you can protest it only through work. I think you can uh, do um, you can be out there and prove people wrong only through your work, and which these incredible women have been doing. Yeah. And uh, even in the film, you know, like uh, Pooja Bedi, who's playing my mom, she keeps encouraging Zoya to do comic, you know, comedy in- independently. Mm-hmm. And she keeps insisting that as a couple, they they do it really well because they live off, they sort of feed off each other's energies. So, um, no, I think I, I think it's one of those gender things. I mean, I personally don't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. That's because yeah. of the misogyny in our society. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. To, that's because of how our minds work in the society. Right. So yes, uh, you're right. We don't give female. Tred- uh, we shouldn't call them female comics. We yeah. should just call them comics. First. Yeah, it's comics. Yeah. Exactly. And, and I feel like we have enough of them. We have yeah. really good comics like Kanis, like you said, Sumukhi. Yeah, yeah. There is uh, Aditi Mittal. There's so many of them. There's so many. Yeah. Very yeah. good. So that that the answer to that is misogyny in our society, <laughs> Rajiv. Yeah. There's nothing and else. They're constantly proving it through their work, so Correct. that's that's really okay. And they have their own fan base, so I think that sort of puts an end to all all those trolls. And I think it's just a troll okay, phase. Yeah. You know, you shot this film in Mumbai, in Delhi, and in Gurgaon apparently, and you shot this entirely during the lockdown. Now, what was that like? I've seen I've seen behind the scenes uh, footage, so I've seen that there are you know everyone's wearing masks except, except the actors. I've seen that there's all this health and sanitation protocols being taken care of. But what's it like, really? I mean, I mean, was there a was there an element of fear? <laughs> was it fun? I mean, what was it like going to work every day, knowing that there is this threat that's looming large over your head? आप रोज कफन मार के निकलते अपने होटल के कमरे से कि मुझे आज करोना होगा. You you go on to say thinking that because uh, to be really honest, like you said, we had all the safety measures in place, but nobody knows how you contract it, right? You could contract it anyhow. Correct. Even if there is a lapse in one minute, you've not worn the mask and you've come come uh, come in contact with somebody who has the virus. So yes, there was uh, a scare for the first two days. I I have thought like Rajiv, I don't know how to act because mm. I had I felt like a I was on a sci-fi film set where yeah. everybody was in PPE kits, shields, masks, gloves. Everybody after every take was coming sanitizing your hands. And I am thinking to myself, I'm like, how will I act? There's right. such a, yeah. there's such a big fear of the pandemic at the back of my head. I need yeah. to get out of this world to go into the world of comedy couple. Yeah. And the third day, I told myself, I'm like, Sakib, just now shut up, yeah. You decided to do this film. You've liked this script. You wanted to make this film. Now don't come to set with with a sense of fear. Yeah. Come on set with wanting to do this. And then I told my producers, I'm like, I want to have a COVID test every four days. uh that will take care of the fear in my head and i just want to be in the moment in the film but uh, how happy after the third day i got just being on set hearing action somebody say action you know it had been a few yeah. months when we'd gone back on set the first two days were a little jittery we were a little rusty i felt i was rusty ki are mai bhul to nahi gaya acting karna hai. you always yeah. have that fear in your head because it's not like you have a acting degree right correct whatever you've done is right. out there and so you thinking do i know this but it takes you those first two three days to put you in a sense of space where you realize okay we've got to work with the virus we right. can't be worried about it anymore right so that was that what happened for you as well i was a little skeptical and in fact when we started the workshops and we started doing the trials and everything i kept thinking do i want to do this because i was 105 about 110 days at home not stepped out at all so i was a little worried and uh, uh, also very excited to be back at work mm-hmm. at the same time but i think the production took very very good care of us they had all the you know sanitations there were sanitizers installed everywhere on set outside the sets there were people wearing pp kits and it was really difficult you know for us actors we are in our vans then we come on set we have to wear the mask and like sanitize ourselves but for the other departments they're constantly in those pp kits and masks and uh, it's very very difficult you know and knowing mm-hmm. mumbai and gurgaon's mumbai was humid and then gurgaon was hot yeah so it's very difficult to you know function in that with a limited number of crew but i think the production took very good care of us so much so that i was very um, i was like i'm not going to eat bahar ka khana at all so i requested the team to um, arrange for a kitchenette in my 
hotel suite room in Gurgaon and I was cooking every day ragi. Yeah. So every day I'd go to shoot, come back, make my khana, make the dabba, take it uh, to the shoot next day. So I think make I think a little us, not only for I ourselves, make, make food for us. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm like, how many hours do you have in a day? I can barely <laughs> shoot. <laughs> you cooking, cleaning, doing everything. What is up with you? <laughs> you don't make up as well, Shweta. I read somewhere. That's Badam. right. I did my own she makeup because one of the most, first I didn't want to interact with too many budget people. Budget may work करने वाली actress. Like she doesn't. <laughs> uh, she makes sure that the budget of the film stays tight. That's in a contract. <laughs> yeah, But, that's. You know what's interesting is that a lot of people have felt the sting of the pandemic. You know, um, work drying up. Not the two of you. I mean, Sakib, you had a show come out just now. I mean, Crackdown, and you were so good in it. And Shweta, you are in every second project. I mean, you were in Hostages, you were in High, you were in Serious Men. It's like you. This is your. This is going to be your she's, sixth she's project. She's on a high drop. these days, Rajiv. She's, she's on a high, high these days. <laughs> Bad joke. So you all have not really felt this. Sakib, this is if this is your. Uh, if you're not ready for stand up just yet. <laughs> Arey, sometimes you have to maro bad jokes. Sometimes Achha. you have to maro bad jokes. Sometimes you bomb also on set, na? Correct. This is part of that prep. So this is all in character, right? Right. right. Yes, it's been an incredible year. It's been uh, quite a crazy year. Very, I think, bipolar for a lot of people. There has been work drying up, and here we are really lucky that we were working through the pandemic, actually mm. through the lockdown. And even now, I was shooting for something. Comedy couple is my fifth release this year. So like, yeah, yes. yay, OTT. <laughs> 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 well, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to watching this film. It looks like something that's that's fresh and new, and I and I hope that that's what it is. So I will be watching it on the 21st of October when it drops on Z5. All the best to you. I hope that I hope that it gives us the laughs and the you know just the just the fun that this that we need in these times. I hope it brings a smile to our faces because I really that's want to know what you think else. about it, Rajiv. I think it's a film that so we're enjoying. Oh, I can't uh, wait. I'm watch. really really waiting to read what you think. I can't wait to watch. Yes, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rajiv. Thank you, guys. Thank bye. You so much. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye.